The biggest takeaway starting for you, Tom, this weekend, was it the, the Angels collapse on Sunday? Or and ultimately they're they're for they're the sweep and they're now 11 game losers in a row or the Phillies and what they did post firing of Joe Girardi. Well, big respect to the Phillies the way they came back, but I have to go bigger picture here and it's 11 games now for the Angels. The Angels much more concerning to me because they've had games like this in hand. I think this is like the fourth or fifth game that they've had a lead late in this 11 game losing streak. They've had the right guys out there on the mound. Right. The closer, Iglesias, goes out there in the eighth inning. It was the right spot for him. He didn't have enough to finish the game. Hergit comes in. And again, I, I mentioned change up 3 2 to Harper. 3 2 to Stott was a breaking ball, too. So they got beat on their secondary pitches on 3 2 counts. But I haven't seen Mike Trout look this bad like, in oh, forever. For 26. That's the longest slump oh, of his for career. 26. Yeah. And. He just, it looks like an 0 for 26, if that makes any sense. Sometimes you're, you're in tough luck, but the swing and miss, the chase, it's not typical Mike Trout. And I hate to say they go as he goes, but we've seen him carry the team. Nobody's carrying a team right now, especially yeah. the bullpen. That's my concern, Robert, the bullpen for the Angels right now, which you thought was good, but Loop, Tapera, Herget, Iglesias, these are all their winning pieces yeah. that have been out there in winning situations, haven't gotten done. That's what concerning. A, what about you, Dan? Biggest take Angels free fall. Two weeks ago, we were talking about, hey, it's going to be great to get Otani and Trout into the postseason. That's what everybody wants. We're thinking, hey, they're a legitimate team that could maybe run down the Houston Astros. In two weeks, they've done a complete free fall. I mean, they're a half a game right now out of a wild card spot. To think that they're under 500 right now, Robert, and at one point, they were 10 games over 500 and looked like a solid contender for one of the wild card spots. Now, they're just another team. We talk about Mike Trout and his swing and how it's almost slump proof, even though maybe that doesn't exist, right? High probability swing. What are you seeing now? What's the difference? A little more chase. I mean, the one, the one thing with Mike, his one kryptonite is the fastball up. Mm -hmm. Crowd him in and especially up, like a lot of hitters. But to me, just watching him against the Yankees in that series, a little more chase. Maybe he's trying to do too much. I'm not sure. But again, it's I agree with you. Normally, he's slump proof. And it's just unusual to see so much swing and miss right now from him. What's your take on the Phillies so far? Uh, my take on the Phillies is this. I love the lineup defensively. They're not a good defensive team. Another error I like, yesterday. I, I like their starting pitching, though. I think their starting pitching will be competitive. And I think if anybody's going to make a run at the Mets and cut into that lead, I think that team will be the Phillies. Oh. I just like the way they're situated. They're going to score runs. The bullpen has to be better than it was a couple of weeks ago. I'm not saying they're going to catch the Mets, but to me, Lauren, they're the safest bet to make it interesting. More so than the Braves. Yes. Uh, Angels return home. They begin a series against the Red Sox, and then the Mets mm. come to town. So it does not get any easier for the Angels as they are in the midst of a horrific 11-game losing streak.